We're halfway through SEC Football Media Days here in Dallas. Rick Henry along with Julie Westman and one of the four teams making the rounds today, the Oklahoma Sooners. Gamecock fans are very familiar with the Sooners head coach. Brent Venable spent 10 years with Clemson as the Tigers defensive coordinator. October 19th, Venables and the Sooners will host the Gamecocks in the first ever meeting between the two programs. It'll also be a return to Norman for Carolina head coach Shane Beamer. He was an OU assistant before taking the USC job in 2020. What I've always appreciated about South Carolina, it doesn't matter you know, how the team's doing. They're going to show up early and they're going to stay late. Uh, they're passionate. Uh, I had a friend that coached at, uh, for, with, for Lou Holtz at South Carolina years ago while I was still at Oklahoma, and I had no idea what South Carolina and Clemson was all about. And, uh, and, and now that I, you know, spent a decade in that state, you're going to, there's only, give or take, I don't know, I think it's five million people in the whole state. And they're going to have um, um, two ends of the state, in the upstate and down in the low state, uh, two programs on any given Saturday. Their stadiums have 80,000 plus people. I can't tell you how many people have, you know, called me, texted me, friends, fans I see around town. They say we're going to Norman, we're going to Tuscaloosa, um, we're going to Kentucky. So I know everybody's excited about it, and that's a great thing about the changes in the SEC. Everybody getting to experience uh, new venues and uh, people coming to Columbia as well. And since we're on the subject of newness, Oklahoma and Texas, the two new members of the SEC, and South Carolina, some fresh faces on the roster. How about running back Rocket Sanders? He transferred to USC from Arkansas with knee and shoulder injuries and then got the rehab care he needed, and now he's looking to get back to that production that he had back in 2022. Sanders rushed for over 1,400 yards in his sophomore season with 10 touchdowns and an average of six and a half yards per gain. He had 271 yards and two touchdowns through the air. Then the injury bug bit. He played in just six games his junior season at Arkansas before entering the transfer portal in the offseason. Beamer joked on Monday that they're calling the improvement Sanders has made since January rocket science. Rocket has come in. You talk about hungry and starving. Rocket's very hungry to get back to the Rocket Sanders of 22. And I think a lot of people have forgotten how talented a running back Rocket Sanders is. It's been a process with our strength and conditioning staff and our training staff. He's uh, shaved 6% of body fat off of his body since February. He's lost a considerable amount of weight. He stayed in Columbia the whole month of May and so he could be in ideal shape when our players came back in June. The Gamecocks do have some great options in the running back room between Sanders, Oscar Attaway, and Juju McDowell, but they have to stay healthy. And the offensive line, they need to play consistently from beginning to end. That's going to wrap it up here in Dallas. Rick Henry, Julia Westerman, and we're on the road with the Gamecocks.